Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Simone. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do before you leave. Today's video is just I'm teaching you how to clean my how I clean my brushes, and hopefully you learn something along the way. Um, there is different products like sprays you can do to clean your brushes, but I just use number one is soap, which I use to gain dish soap. It smells good. It's in like a flavor called Hawaiian Aloha. Bomb. <laughs> Number two item I did use is water. You can find water in your sink. You can find water in your refrigerator. I just used bottled water that we had. And then the other things are you're going to need like a little texture plate. I just used like a little frame my mama had and I show you guys that in the video. And I also used like a bowl. Um, you need a bowl to put the water and soap in. Um, and also you're going to need rubbing alcohol to kill germs on your handle of the brush. So without further ado, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave and don't forget to subscribe. So the first thing is to put some dish soap in your bowl and then also after that put some water of course. You gotta clean it. And um, I took a brush and I swirled it around to mix up the water and the soap as well as start cleaning the brush. And I also like to um, almost massage my brushes to help clean it more. Now this little joy picture here um, is actually a frame but I use it for my texture. You need texture, it's more, more reliable than, um, than the palm of your hand. Like some people use the palm of their hand which is fine, your brush is still going to get clean but it gets more clean when it's like real texture you know what I'm saying um, and so I'm just continuing to do the same thing with brush my other brushes the little brushes are so much easier you guys so um, like the eyeshadow brushes your uh, um, your blending brushes they'll be a lot more easier to clean just because they're smaller I guess Like this bigger one, for example, this one took me two or three times to dip back in the water, use the texture, and then pat it off on the napkin to clean it. Um, like I said, the bigger brushes, the ones you use the most, will be the dirtiest, so it's a little bit more to clean, and that literally took me like three napkins to wipe off the whole like dirty stuff. Like it was just, that brush was really gross, you guys. It was embarrassing. So as you see here, um, it was so dirty, I had to clean the texture plate and had to put it back in the water and then I used the texture plate again and finally it got clean after the second round. So just make sure you pat on the um, napkin um, to make sure you know there's no more makeup on your brush to make sure it is very, very clean like you need it to be. So the sponges are so fun. Like, I have anxiety and I stress out a lot so this was pretty much a, this was like really fun to me um, so you take your sponge and mine is dirty of course as you saw and look how clean it got like you just kind of massage it like I did the other brush um, and you massage the makeup out and it just ugh, it was kind of like crazy to look at it because it was so freaking dirty and um, yeah it was gross hell in the streets but who wants to live just to breathe one day I will stand proud and tall just to be somebody so after all that I like to rinse my brushes off and um, put them in somewhere else to dry So now I'm just showing you the rest of my brushes, how I clean the rest of my brushes, and yeah. You guys, look at this dirty water. Like, this is disgusting. This little thing that I'm using to, um, like, clean it off is the texture part of it and um, 
This is actually just one of like the old frames my mom used to have and I just used to use it to uh, clean my brushes now. We're not quite done yet, you guys. Um, I usually put alcohol on the rim, but the handle of my brush, um, to eliminate germs as well. As you see, this is so disgusting. What I'm taking today is some witch hazel. It's just alcohol, basically, and it just eliminates germs. Basically, we'll go ahead and take a nice bounty napkin and literally just wipe the brush down, you know? And it just kills all those germs that are on your brush, girl. So I have these little guys. I got this from Claire's. I still have the tag on it. As you see, I, have it. I got it from Claire's. And this was actually $12. So I'm going to do the... Do it with the rest of my brushes, put the alcohol on. pretty much is it your brushes are all nice and clean now um, I usually like to put them next to a window and open it just so the light can hit them and I don't know I feel like it makes it dry a lot easier and faster I don't know but make sure you open up a window too that could kind of help it um, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial hope I make helped you learn something how to clean your brushes possibly and yeah give this a video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe bye guys